Hello everyone, welcome to our Joe Special Tech the channel. In the Joe Server Introductory Training course, we generally learned how to create and manage your special services, style caching, and also configuration related to the security of services. In this course, by using the following resources, we will discuss in more detail what can be done with your server software. In this session, we will get to know in detail the concepts of open standards and WMS and WMTS services. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of these videos. In the OGC context, a standard is an accurate specification of rules and guidelines about how to implement software interfaces and data encodings. Joe special software vendors, developers, and users collaborate in the OGC's consensus process to develop an agree on standards that enable information system to exchange your special information and instructions for your processing. OGC standards are open standards. What are open standards? The OGC defines open standards as standards that are freely and publicly available. They are available free of charge and encumbered by patents and other intellectual property. Non-discriminatory. They are available to anyone, any organization, anytime, anywhere, with no restrictions. No license fees. There are no charges to any time for their use. Vendor neutral. They are vendor neutral in terms of their content and implementation concept and don't favor any vendor over another. Data neutral. The standards are independent of any data storage model or format. Based on consensus, they are defined, documented, and approved by a formal member-driven consensus process. The consensus group remains in charge of chains and no single entity controls the standard. Organizations like the OGC, the IETF, the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C, and others are open organization in the sense that any individual or organization can participate. The topics of debate are largely public, decisions are democratic, usually by consensus, and specifications are free and readily available. An open process is necessary to arrive at an open standard. The openness that OGC promotes is part of this general progress. Often the terms open standards and open source are confused or incorrectly taken to mean the same thing. The open standards are a specification developed in an open process. The open source is software made freely available under the license that allows the program to run for any purpose, to study how the program works to adapt it, and to redistribute copies, including modifications. As a matter of policy, the OGC board of directors and staff don't favor either proprietary software or open source software. From the OGC perspective, any developers who implement OGC standards in software or online services is doing the right thing. OGC cares about interoperability, the ability to share your special information. Types of standards In general, open standards are divided into two categories encoding standards. These standards provide rules that determine how to organize information typically sent by a service provider or produced by an application. An encoding standard may specify how to organize information encoded in, for example, a text file, binary, or XML. An encoding standard is often based on a conceptual model that visualizes using Unified Model Language, or UML. Interface Standards Interface standards provide rules that determine the operations between service providers and service requesters. For example, an interface to request maps to map service provider. OGC standards can be categorized as follows. Data encoding standards, Joe package, GML. Data access standards, WFS, WCS. Processing standards, WPS. Visualization standards, WMS, WMTS, KML. Metadata and Catalog Services Standards, CSW. Now we are going to talk about the WMS standard. The OGC Webmap Service Interface Standard, or WMS, defines a set of interfaces for requesting map images over the internet. WMS makes it easy for a client to request images on demand changing parameters such as size and credit reference systems. A WMS server, for example a service that implements the WMS standard, provides information about what maps the service provides and it produces a map and answer queries about the content of a map. Overview of WMS operations 
In a standard of OGC services, mandatory operations must be implemented. In other words, if a software claims to be compatible with OGC standard, then it must implement mandatory operations, but in non-mandatory operations, this is completely optional. WMS specifies a number of different request types, two of which are required by any WMS server. Git capabilities. Reference metadata about the service, including supported operations and parameters, and a list of the available layers. Metadata for each layer include bounding box, coordinate reference system, URI of the data, and whether the layer is mostly opaque or not. Get map. Written as a map image for a specified area and content. Parameters specified in the get map request include width and height of the map, coordinate reference system, rendering style and image format. Optional WMS operations include get feature info. Written as the underlying data, including geometry and attribute values for a pixel location on a map. The layer supporting this operation is marked as queryable. Describe layer indicates the WFS or WCS to retrieve additional information about the requested layer. Get legend graphic returns a legend as an image for the map image, providing a visual guide to the map elements. A client needs to know the location of the WMS service to be able to interact with the server. The location is usually called the endpoint of the service. This section provides detailed information about the types of WMS requests the client is able to perform to a WMS server. The first operation is Get Capabilities. The Get Capabilities operation requests metadata about the capabilities, operations, services, and data that are offered by WMS server. An example of a Get Capabilities request is There are three parameters and values being passed to the WMS server. The service parameters tells the server that the WMS request is forthcoming. The value is WMS. The version parameters tells the server what version of the WMS is being requested. The value is one of 100.110.111.130. The request parameter tells the server that the operation requested is get capabilities operation. The response is a capabilities XML document with a detailed description of the WMS service. It contains three main sections. Service. Service contains service metadata such as the service name, keywords, and contact information for the organization operating the server. Request. It describes the operations the WMS service provides and parameters and output formats for each operation. Layer. It lists the available coordinate system and layers. In some servers, for example, Joe server, layers are named in the form namespace colon layer. Each layer provides service metadata such as title, abstract, and keywords. GetMap A WMS server responding to a GetMap request returns a map image for a specified area and content. The core parameters specify one or more layers and styles to appear on the map, a bounding box for a map extent, a target special reference system, and a weak height and format for the output. The information needed to specify values for parameters such as layers, styles, and a special reference system or SRS can obtain from the capabilities document. The response is a map image or other map output artifact depending on the format requested. An example of a getMap request is The coordinate reference system is EPSG colon 3326, which is the WGS84 coordinate reference system. The image is returned in a PNG format with width 780 and height 330 pixels. The required parameters are Service is the service name, value is WMS. Version is the version of service, the value is one of 100.110. 111130. Request. It is specified the operation type. The value is get map. Layers. Layers are parameters to display on map. Value is a common separated list of layer names. For example, SFDM restricted. Styles. Styles in which layers are to be rendered. Value is a common separated list of style names or empty to use default layer styling. SRS or CRS. Special reference system for map output. 
This value is EPSG colon 267.13 VBOX Bonding box for Mavix 10 Value is MinX, MinY, MaxX, MaxY in units of the SRS Width Width of map output in pixels The value is 768 Height Height of map output in pixels The value is 539 Format Format for the map output, for example PNG, open layers or others. The optional parameters are transparent, PG color, exceptions, time, SLD, SLD underline body. Get feature info. The operation requests the geometry and attribute data for a given location on the map. It's similar to the WFS get feature operation but less flexible in both input and output. The one advantage of get feature info is that the request uses an XY pixel value from a written WMS image. This is easier to use for a knife client that is not able to perform true geographic referencing. An example request for feature information from the top client states layer in the HTML format is The required parameters are the service, version, layers, styles, SRS or CRS, VBOX, width and height are parameters were mentioned in the GetMap request. Request is Get Feature Info. Query underline layers. Comma separated list of one or more layers to query. X. Pixel column point on the map. Zero is left side. X is the parameter key used in the WMS 110. Y. Pixel column point on the map. Zero is the top. Y is the parameter key used in WMS 110. The optional parameters are info underline format, feature underline count. Describe layer. This operation just routes the client to the appropriate service. Both WMS and WFS have operations to do this. An example request for feature description of a vector and raster layer in JSON format is the service, version, request, and layers parameters are required and the output format is an optional parameter. Also, the value of request parameter is described layer. Get legend graphic. This operation provides a mechanism for generating legend graphics as image of WMS capabilities. It generates a legend based on the style defined on the server or alternatively based on the user supplied SLD. As an example of get legend graphic request is The service, request, and layer and format parameters are required and the value of request parameters must be get legend graphic. Webmap type service or WMTS. The OGC Webmap type service implementation standard or WMTS defines a set of interfaces for making web based requests of map tile of a specially referenced data using tile image with predefined content extent as resolution. The standard includes the WMTS specification aligned with the collateral documentation such as profiles and XML documents. WMTS complements the WMS for the web-based distribution of cartographic maps. WMS focuses on flexibility in the client request enabling clients to obtain exactly the final image they want, while WMTS focuses on rendering custom maps and is well suited for dynamic data or custom site maps. WMTS trades the flexibility of custom maps rendering for the scalability made possible by serving static data or base maps where the bounding box and scales have been constrained to discrete tiles. The fixed set of tiles allows for the implementation of a WMTS service using a web server that simply retains existing files. It also enables the use of standard network mechanisms for scalability such as distributed cache systems. WMTS specifies several operation types, two of which are required in a compliant WMTS implementation and another which is optional. WMTS operations Git capabilities The Git capabilities response is characterized in a service metadata document which describes how to identify WMTS resources or generate WMTS request operations. The primary content of the metadata is tile matrix set summary information and detailed content such as bounding box, supported CRS, whether a well-known scale set is available and tile matrix data about any of a number of levels. As an example of get capabilities request is Get 
tiles. The gate tile operation under a procedural oriented architectural style allows WMTS clients to take the information from the gate capabilities response to request a particular tile of a particular tile matrix set in a predefined format. Under the resource-oriented side, the client merely requests the representation of any offered tile resource by performing a request to the address following the standard semantics of the transport protocol. An example of a get tiles request is All parameters are required. Some of them, such as service, request, version, layer, and format, have already been explained. Other parameters are Tile matrix set this parameter defines the CRS to use when computing the underlying pyramid. In this case, it's EPSG colon 900 913. Tile matrix. This parameter allows to define the matrix to use for the output tile. Tile call. This parameter allows to select the column of the tile to get within the matrix. Tile row. This parameter allows to select the row of the tile to get within the matrix. Get feature info. This request is optional and may be made about the features at or near particular pixel location. Requests must specify the tile aligned with the pixel location on the tile and the WMTS server may choose which information to provide about nearby features. An example request for feature information from the top column states layer in HTML format is This operation is similar to the get feature info operation of the WMS standard. Also, its parameters have been already explained. In this session, we talked about the concepts of Open Standard and WMS and WMTS services and the required and optional operations. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around the Joe server, we recommend you to watch the list of the suggested videos. Have a great time!